Hi, it's Arti from Brown Bright Herbs. Today I'm talking to you about Skullcap or Scutellaria. Um, it is definitely a favorite herb of mine. It is restorative for chronic stress, so it could be stress related to adversity in life that you've been experiencing for a long time, or it could be um, like recuperating, recuperating from an illness that took a long time, or like COVID or something like that. Um, building up that that strength again after or resilience I guess in some cases if you're still having sickness or um, psychological stress or something like that it is good for it is restorative for stress of any kind it's so wonderful like that but it is also great for acute stress for example um, related to quitting tobacco or, um, you know, just really, you know, sudden difficulties that you're having. So, like, instead of, for example, reaching for um, a beer after a tough day at work because you feel, like, angry and you're, like, want to scream but you don't want to scream at anybody really, then you could instead grab some skullcap tea, tea with skullcap in it. Um, that would be a healthier option and then you can save beer for just uh, fun and times when you're not using it to manage your emotions um, so or or just in in general enjoy all the many things that are available in this world that can be like fun and relaxing um, besides alcohol and stuff like that so um, that's really like the takeaway from skull cap is that it's you you can use it as a sleep herb I do I sell it as a tincture and that is it de really depends on dose like how I'm how I'm using it it's in I sell it as a tincture it's in artist dream tea it's in mother's little helper which is another herbal tea it's in take it easy herbal smoking blend so it's in all those things I'm just going to go through each of them and let you know like how you could use them differently um, and how the skull cap is working on a little bit different level. So, um, like I said, you can use it for sleep. And this is actually one of the first herbs that I tried. And so it was before I really knew um, plants started kind of communicating with me back in, I'd say, like the early 2000s. And um, I was not like feeling like I was being communicated with the skull cap, but I um, got some capsules and I took a few, not really realizing that it could be a strong herb. And I and then I slept for like 11 hours or something like that. So it was a, it can be a very potent um, sleep herb. Uh, so especially if your nerves are kind of fried um, from from life. And sometimes when we're so we've been wired for so long, we're we're not able to just go back to our base a baseline of calmness so that's when skullcap could help and lavender and lavender and skullcap are together in both the artist dream tea and the mother's little helper so if you want a high dose of skullcap i don't sell it in a in um just as a straight herb except for through tincture form but you could experiment as a tincture taking more doses till you get like the desired effect and because generally when I recommend doses like on the bottle it's at like a drop dose which means that um, it's really more about like the energy of the plant communicating with your body and, and kind of re giving like an education to your body of a different way of doing things which I feel like is very effective and there's a lot of uh, traditions that do that um, but it's definitely safe to take um, you know so I might recommend like 10 to 20 drops of skullcap on the bottle but then it is definitely safe you can take like 60 to 90 drops and you would not there would not be a, a worry about doing that I would not be worried about that at all so then if you wanted to do it in a tea form, Mother's Little Helper is really designed for long-term stress. This, that's the skull cap for long-term stress and um, product for that long-term stress. And, and that one, you don't have to be a mom um, to, to use that blend. It's just really um, 
I, I was um, a young mom when I made it, that blend, and I just loved it. I used it whenever I felt like I was ready to start screaming at my my family, and I would drink it, and I would I'd be like, this is like magic. I'm fine. Um, so it has a more skull cap in it than the Artist Dream Tea, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, it is designed, instead of to put you to sleep, it is designed to calm your nerves, will keep your mind bright. So I wouldn't take it for sleeping. I would take it for like, you're just under stress. You can't like, you know, a lot of times the solution that like, providers would give you would be to to not have stress or <laughs> not care or something like that like to change your life but we can't always change the outside world like what I would love it if the outside world would change but we can change how we're feeling and how our body is responding because that is going to save us um, that is going to make us able to um, proceed with grace through our life's challenges and it'll be better for everyone around us obviously ourselves too. So that Mother's Little Helper has um, similar herbs to the Artist Dream Tea, but I do them in different ways. And so it has um, the skull cap, rooibos, lavender, and um, rosemary. And so the rosemary is in there just enough to keep your mind sharp because a lot of times when you're a young mom, you also have baby brain. And so you, that's why so many people are drinking coffee because they're like, they're actually quite tired, but they need the mental sharpness and which may seem obvious why people are drinking coffee, but, but you know, we need, we do, we can't just, <clears throat> few of us have the luxury to just say, I'm going to um, conk myself out and just, um, feel peaceful all day. <laughs> I don't have any responsibilities. So this gives you um, a settling and calming of your of your kind of nervous system. And then while well, still keeping your brain clear. So like clearing some of that baby brain fog. Or you know, if you're just like a person who's stressed and tired, um, keeping that mind sharp. Um, rooibos and lavender are two herbs that are adaptogen. So if you're feeling overstimulated, they will calm you down. And if you are feeling sluggish or, un, or you know, um, lethargic, depressed, kind of they perk you up. So two friends, lavender and rooibos, that are good for kind of getting you more to like a good place with your energy, whether you're too high or too low. And then skullcap to be like, whoa, we've had stress. Let's, let's, give some love to our nervous system and just calm things down in a, and, and keep it functional with the rosemary. So really, um, a little bit more, uh, skull cap and a little bit more rosemary than in the artist dream tea. Now the artist dream tea, my favorite tea. I don't know. Mother's little helper might be my second favorite tea. I love them both. I should probably drink more of both of them. I think I'm going to do that today. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the Artist Dream Tea is made with um, skullcap, rosemary, lavender, <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's rooibos too, and also red root. And so you might just think it's the same tea plus a little bit more red root, but it's not. So artists, um, creative types, um, and and this dream tea is can is something I made for people who already dream quite actively. Uh, so they're not looking, and, and it's to modify their dreams. So I have three dreams to modify your dreams, which is, this is a dream, artist dream tea and sweet dream tea. Um, and so they're all intended to help you get more of what you want out of your dream time. This one is for people who are already actively dreaming. Like I, are, I have dreams every night that I recall. Um, and so I'm not looking to have more vivid dreams in any way. The goal with these herbs or these herbs work together to give you dreams that are more of the inspiring kind of dreams and clearing your dreams, uh, your dream space. So rosemary and, and, um, and red root both are clear, like, they're like water purifiers inside your body. They are so beautiful and amazing. <laughs> I just had like a flash of, of like intuition on that. It was so beautiful. So 
you know, we all have like this lymphatic system that helps with our immune system. Like we've been really focused on this last year is thinking about our immune system. Well, things can get kind of just like anything, like if you had some liquid sitting out for a while, if it's not just pure water, it can, it starts to get a little cloudy or something like that. So, um, and depending on what you eat, um, and activity, how, act how active you are, because your lymphatics, your lymphatic system is like really kind of massaged and activated by your physical activities. So the more you exercise, it's actually improving your immunity in a way that's not so chemical based. It's more like physical based. So the rosemary, it's not too much rosemary. It's in there partly to help you remember your dreams, but like just a little bit because we don't want to have you be too bright or you will have difficulty sleeping. We don't want that. Um, we want you to sleep and dream. <laughs> um, and so those two herbs, the rooibos, or not the rooibos, red root and the rosemary, they are cleaning out those waters in your body. And on a physical level, those waters relate to the immune, immune system, like fleshing out um, areas that need immune support. On a psycho-spiritual level, they're relating to psychic ability and dreams and creativity. So the red root in particular can help clear out um, artist blocks because it's basically like your creative waters, if you will, are polluted. They're needing maintenance is another way to say it. Like Everything needs maintenance in your body. Your body is this amazing vehicle for doing so many different things. And don't take a pass on maintenance because you're just going to have a better and better experience of, of your body and your life. And it's not just your physical body. You know, it's your mind and your emotions and everything is connected. Your spirituality. There's, there's no, there are different systems, but they're not separate. So do the maintenance. So those two help do the maintenance and, um, and the results can be so beautiful. And then, um, I think of artistic people as being sensitive, um, you know, can be more emotional or more like, um, reactionary, uh, but they are just generally more sensitive to their environment, maybe more sensitive to the visuals in their environment or the sounds like they're, seeing even like cooks they could be like seeing and perceiving things that other people are ignoring so that means that they're getting a lot more stimulation when they just go out their door they're seeing all the flowers they're seeing all the pollution they're seeing all the stuff where somebody else might just be like I'm going to work I'm going to get there and I'm going to do my work I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat and I'm going to go to bed so there's a lot more stimulation so in this blend the amount I put in there of the Skullcap, rooibos, and lavender are really just intended to gently calm those nerves. And lavender does have properties where it is helpful for sleep for people that are psychically quite sensitive. So if you're not just getting a lot of stimulation from your visuals and like auditory stuff and you know, tastes and flavors and, you know, all your senses, but you're also getting a lot of psychic information. You're just a sensitive, you know, some people might not see it as being psychic, but you know, you're like a really sensitive soul and you like perceiving other people's emotions. That's stimulation. So for those people that are easily stimulated on like the emotional and psychic level, lavender can be a great ally in sleep. Amazing. And you might not even, if you're having sleep trouble and you're not sure what the deal is, like maybe you feel like you need a lot of time to yourself, something like that, you might experiment with some lavender in the evening because um, you might, or my favorite way to do lavender for sleep is actually uh, make a pillow with rice and lavender. Yeah. I love it. Um, <laughs> just warms my heart. So... <laughs> 
but yeah, so the skull cap in there, it's less, it's, it's not as much, but it is, it's still like a really pleasant kind of tonic, like it feels kind of like a tonic to your nervous system to just be like, we know you're sensitive, we know that you've, because you're perceiving, so the tea is kind of like, you're sensitive, you're perceiving a lot, maybe you're not able to process it all as quickly as you'd like to, or your body needs some help with that, because that's another thing is like, it's not just that you need to, that you're perceiving this, but like, let's say you're an artist and the way that you use your art is to process everything that you're experiencing or like make sense of it for yourself. Well, you might not be like as up to speed with that as you want to be. You might have like some backlog and that's on a physical level, the red root and the, and the rosemary are helping do that processing. And the processing doesn't mean there's less art to do. It actually means there's like more creative vision because you are just, you just kind of like windshield wiped yourself and you're seeing, you're seeing and being inspired again. And, and that's where like more dream, not more dreams, but more of the kind of dreams you want. Not just like mundane, like what I did at work, relationship was weird, interaction, uh, going down the street, you know, like more like the magical, like the symbolism and the breakthroughs and consciousness and like the clues to how you can solve things and stuff like that. So I love that artist team tea and um, definitely have some. <laughs> and then, um, and that's good for like writer's blocks too. So if you're um, a writer um, or an artist of any kind, you could try that. And if you have if you have a good experience or you have an experience, I would love to hear it. And then Take It Easy is the other blend that has skull cap in it. And that's really formulated to help with nicotine withdrawal. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, but it is important to note that, you know, a lot of people, when they are withdrawing from nicotine addiction, like that's the primary reason they're smoking tobacco. So some people are not smoking because they're like so physically addictive and addicted. I don't know how that works, but that's a real thing. Like some people, you know, it's more like only when they're drinking do they smoke and then they'll smoke a whole pack, but it's like once a week or every other week or two nights a week, you know, but it's like they're not, they must not be like super physically addicted. Otherwise they would be craving it throughout the week. And then other people, it's like just, triggered by stress or something like that. So for those of you out there who, or your friends or whatever, who have a physical addiction to tobacco and you're going, you quit, the Take It Easy blend is really designed to help you kind of ideally quit cold turkey, but you could also, you know, space out your tobacco cigarettes more. Some people do that. You don't want to have tobacco at the same time as Take It Easy. It's a contraindication. Um, but the lobelia makes your, your brain feel like you've had the nicotine, but there's the, the, the other herbs are in there to help like kind of flesh out like a return to normalcy. So the skull cap is really there to ease those nerves. Cause you know, there's that crankiness and like, um, irritability when you're, when you're quitting, which could be partly like some psychological stuff where you're just like, I'd rather have my cigarette as a solution to my emotional situation than um, dealing with it another way. Well, this is a way that you can deal with it. You can deal with it with skull cap. <laughs> and then uh, catnip is in there. That's also relaxing um, in, a, in a more physical kind of way. Um, it helps with the lobelia. And then rose is in there because um, there's a lot of damage to our heart centers from repetitive smoking. And the rose is going to be restorative medicine for your heart. And that damage also happens because we're trying to protect our hearts. A lot of times people are smoking tobacco repetitively to kind of protect their hearts. It feels good. Like many addictions, it feels great uh, at first, but the long-term play out is not, it's not great. So, um, you know, once you are off of the take it eat off of tobacco and then can you can get off of take it easy and then but you can still incorporate um you can you can drink it as a tea and you can incorporate 
um, rose into, you know, if you like black tea, you can add rose to it, stuff like that. And then uh, there's melon in there. Of course, that is for your lungs because they are precious and melon is amazing at helping your lungs. So uh, that is uh, my kind of ways that I work with skull cap. It really does have a lot of flexibility in how you can work with it, even though it's in each of those blends, I'm kind of using it for like stress and overstimulation, um, but they feel different and they are acting different, partly because of the other helpers that are in there and partly because of the dose. Uh, yeah. So um, if you have any questions about that, please leave a comment um, if you're on YouTube. And then if you like the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Have a great day.